Hey guys, how you doing? I'm Mark, aka the 13th, as you can see there on the screen. I'm from the U4S clan, in case you haven't gathered that already. Right, today, I just thought I'd bring you a normal video um, without the whole of the clan. There's just two members in this video, just myself and John the Leto. Um, John, it's just an average game, nothing special, no special effects, nothing. Just a game of headquarters with two of the U4S members in it. Um, so our normal videos, you know, we've got stalking videos, competitive rank game mode videos, wage matches, member videos, uh, montage videos, and a few camper videos. Just expose a few campers there, because we like doing that. Um, so don't forget to check them out. Um, today, guns I'm using is the FAMAS with extended mag, um, and an RPG. The reason I'm using RPG is one, because I like it, and two, I hate noob tubes, and if people start noob tubing me, I will just RPG it. Um, so it's basically to come to the um, came to the amount of noob tubes that seem to appear of late in Black Ops. I'm sure you've all seen it anyway. Um, I like the fast, good gun, nice and fast, um, nice and stable as well, as you can see. And extended mags just just gives it a little bit more, you know. Um, so as you can see, I do reload as much as I can, where I can, and you have to make that call for yourself on, on whether or not to reload at certain points. With extended mag, you don't have to do it as often, and you've normally got them extra bullets in the clip to, um, to see you for a few kills. Perks I'm using today, Scavenger Pro, um, so I like to replay, as you can see. Um, Slight of Ant Pro, so I like to change, um, change my mags quite quickly. And Marathon Pro, um, normally used when I'm not playing with a clan because you need to get to where you're going quite quickly because you can't rely on your other members or other team members at the time and you will see that in this video kill streaks I'm using, I'm using UAV um, I normally use 345 to help the team out as much as I can um, but I'm using UAV here and um, Cobra helicopter um, my third <laughs> my third kill streak is douchebag pro and that's purely because I forgot to include a third kill streak so just to show you we all do get it wrong sometimes um, headquarters, it's, everybody likes the game mode, in my opinion, and I do, I do think this is right, I think it's the best game mode to rank up quickly, along with, um, if you include challenges in that as well. Um, the points are massive, you get big points, um, if you capture and defend, and you can, you can rank up pretty quickly. Obviously, as you can see there, the guys are watching left and right, but no one's watching the middle, so I thought I'd just go and check the middle out, make sure it's nice and safe there. Anyway, back to the headquarters, the game mode. It's all about, obviously, captures and defends. And what people don't seem to um, seem to include in their general play and headquarters um, is trying to. It sort of takes 30 seconds for the HQ to come live online, and your team need to be in and around that headquarters because if they're not, you will start spawning by the furthest person away from the headquarters, as I just did there. Um, so you have to be aware of the spawn areas. John gets no scope to you, funny, um, but John, I have to know. Is that guy lying on the floor as well? What a douchebag, he's doing nothing, just lay there. He's not even capturing the headquarters and the headquarters is online. Even when I go to capture it now, he doesn't come to help me and you'll see that. But that's the sort of things that you have to expect when you're playing um, without your team. This wouldn't happen if U4S was playing, pretty much every member would be on there and every... Um, area or every channel would be covered including the right the left and the top would be covered um, for it as it was it wasn't there so just be aware in headquarters of spawn areas um, and where you need to be when if you start pushing into their spawn it will flip the spawn so they will spawn the other side of the map um, and you will start spawning by the furthest person when you die you'll start spawning by the furthest person away on your team got a bit lucky here as you can see he should have took me out and really I should have stabbed but I didn't um, obviously included in the scavenger perk, you, you get to replen your, your flash grenades and stun grenades, and I think they're invaluable. Um, Self and John working together there quite well to see off the enemy. But if you look at the rest of the team, look, they're all off on the left hand side. And look at the UAV now, I've, 
I can see a guy coming through the middle, so I'll leave the guy to kill him, he doesn't kill him. Then another guy gets killed, so I think I've got to do it myself, you know. Um, and it's a bit annoying. Um, I don't know why some people play team games. Go and play team deathmatch or free for all, you know. If you're not going to help the team in any way, go and do something constructive yourself. Just stop him from taking down my, um, my Cobra. And in the process, get another one, which is quite cool. So actually, I'm using the UAV here, and I can, I can, I'm, I'm quite aware of that. I've got my Cobra in the air. So this guy here, I'm going to, I'm going to put his name on the screen as, a screen as well, so you can see because. I think what he's trying to do is lure him in from the front and then he will run round the side because the enemy won't be predictable and come in the main way. So he'll try and lure him round the side, but then doesn't do his job properly when he goes round the side. So I have to go and help him out, you see. So I helped him out, but does he help me out? Look at where he is on the screen. No, he doesn't. Watch. He's got a clear line of sight on that guy and he's, he still didn't help me. So. So that guy there, danger, whatever your name is, you are a homo. Obviously, I'm dead here, so you're just gonna have to bear with me a little bit. <coughs> okay, just while you wait for me to come back to life, there, let me tell you who's in U4S. Myself, the 13th, um, V McKen, uh, Superman, Ollie C, Parge, John Lito, who the guy who's playing there, um, Skidder, Line Dot Line, Sam. Patty 003 and Nathan Jake. I don't think I missed anybody there. No, I didn't. Cool. Okay, so I'm back alive now. <coughs> Take these two guys out here. And, uh, watch this guy in a minute with dual dual wheel. Just playing for sort of montage kills and stuff like that. You know, he's he's doing it all game. And, Gets a little bit annoying. Look, he's still shooting at nothing. He's not killing anybody. He's not doing anything. He's just running around like a douchebag. I suppose I really should have stabbed there, but but I didn't. That's not my SL71, by the way. That was um, somebody else's. I just called in another Cobra. Okay, you'll see here in a minute. There's a guy on my right hand side, and I sort of run around. I don't know where to go because I'm trying to rely on my other team members and let my other team members get the kills as well. Um, Help him out a little bit there, save his ass. Um, but you know, it's, it's a shame that other two team members, I'm not saying everybody, but a lot of other team members don't do the same. Use the SR-71, use the UAV, use the map, see where your other team members are, see which way they're pointing, you know. They're even triangle shaped, so you can see um, at which direction they're pointing. Use that, and you will get, get along fine. You know? Help you out greatly. I think I'll get taken out here in a minute and um, we'll spectate John with his um, with his shotgun attachment on his uh, on his commando. What he's doing is he's just doing a um, doing challenges at the moment, you know, because he's got not much else left to do. So he um, he does challenges and uh, his, his John does a fantastic job with his um, with his master key attachment. Anyway, that's sort of the end of the video. So. Um, look forward to our upcoming videos. We're going we're to do an HQ game with the complete team. Um, we'll do some game mode sort of breakdowns and how-to videos, and we'll definitely keep up with the campers video. So campers, beware! We are coming for you. Um, you can check us out at www.dofiz.com, and I'll speak to you next time. Thanks a lot for listening.